Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your second and final You Pick Tuesday matchup of the week. Roy Callender versus Samson Dowda. Thank you for the videos as always. That's nice to hear, but what is extra nice to hear is a request for Roy Callender, one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time, guys. Now, I mixed and matched the versions of Samson Dowda. I used the Europa Spain mostly, if I could, because the camera angles are good. Now, I you notice I don't use a whole lot of footage from the British Grand Prix, as I'm not a fan of the angles. And I'll, I did have to use a couple, and I'll show you what I mean. Roy Callender. Look at the vacuum. Of course, Samson has a vacuum as well. I think Roy has a better set of guns, a better set of uh, biceps. Just fantastic. The sizes are very hard to get correctly, guys, again, because of the camera angles, things of that nature. But anyway, guys, I'll, I'll give it my best. And I have to say, Roy Callender, things are looking good for him right off, right out of the chute. Go to the front lat spread. And again, guys, take a really good look at this Roy Callender. He had it all. Very underrated bodybuilder from the 19, even as early as the 1970s. Maybe even the late 60s he competed. I'm not exactly sure. He, he re retired at one point and went to pro wrestling. Then made a return to the bodybuilding stage in the 80s. And he was fantastic. I'm telling you right now, the guy's probably winning in the front lat spread. Vacuums all around and feathering in the quads. Can you believe that? Side chest. Now here is the British Grand Prix. It's like they used a one of them little flying things. You know what I mean? One of them... What are, I can't, I don't know what they're called. They, they fly around and they take drones, a drone. It's like they used a drone to take pictures. I mean, come on, guys. They're hovering above the bodybuilders at the British Grand Prix. You can't tell. And it looks like there's a lot of filters through those, them pictures. So I didn't really do a whole lot of reviews on that event because of that. You can't really see the body, guys. And Roy Callender, look at his chest. I think these guys would look similar in this pose. There was an Instagram picture of Samson Dowd, and it looked a lot like this one of uh, Roy Callender, the chest developments. But anyway, guys, very hard to judge this one. Obviously, Samson, he's going to have a better conditioning, and I don't know, Roy Callender does look better. Go right into the first back pose, no side tricep to speak of. And again, guys, the size is impossible to get here. I mean, think about it, if I made the... The heights correctly here, Samson Dowda would be a giant. It would look like you'd be 300 pounds, and that's obviously not the case. And the, having the camera that high up, looking down, I mean, your V-taper is going to look dreamlike, and it's really hurting uh, a fantastic Roy Callender here. Don't get, don't kid yourself, guys. For the 1980s, Roy Callender, this was an obscene back development, I'm here to tell you. Let's go to the rear double by, and this is a Europa Spain one. I like this one. I like the background. Nice blue. It was a good color. It didn't uh, offset because there's certain bodybuilders are, you know, there's different ethnic groups. There's, there's dark bodybuilders. There's lighter bodybuilders. And a certain background can hurt those certain colors. And a nice blue like that, this was perfect. It didn't hurt or make any color of any race look any different or better I'm telling you right now and sometimes they put too much behind the bodybuilders and you can't do that i think this blue background this is what they should do anyway guys enough about that i i like roy calendar here but samson Douda, definitely not without his charms for sure better conditioning i mean what can you say guys if you're gonna judge this one fairly samson Douda is clearly the winner Ab and thigh. Now I did select a British Grand Prix one for Samson for this pose because it's one arm up, one arm down. Basically the same pose. And again, guys, as good as Roy Callender looks and as good as he was for the 1980s, I think Samson Dowda may have his number as far as conditioning is concerned. Now, I do prefer Roy in a lot of the poses, namely the front lat, front double by. But you have to take con conditioning into consideration. All those things, guys. And, okay, we are we have the most muscular. We're going to finish this one off before we make a decision on this one. Wow, Roy Callender. He looks good, guys. You have to admit, 
He's giving Samson Douda a run for his money, but as far as conditioning is concerned, Samson Douda is probably just too good, too good for Roy Callender. But Roy, kudos to him, guys. Like I said, one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time. He's right up there with your Lou Ferrigno's. Guys like that, guys like, that you would hear about more often than not. And you don't really hear about the Roy Callenders. I mean, my soul. This guy was every bit as good as a lot of those guys. Anyway, guys, Samson Douda is your winner. You gotta be fair, guys. You gotta be fair. Conditioning, hamstrings, things of that nature. Much better. Clearly the winner. If you're gonna judge this one fairly, Samson Douda. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. You pick Tuesday. And I'm thinking about doing something for you guys for Thursday. Maybe a three video Thursday. Rig something up. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it. But anyway, guys, I'll do something. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas about that. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Get your request in, guys. Get your request in this video. Make sure it's a good one. Because the, the request with the most thumbs ups gets played next Tuesday for You Pick Tuesday, Tuesday. Have a great week, guys.